When you want to create a Google Doc, you can do so in a couple of different ways. You can either go to drive.google.com to get your Google Drive, or you can also click on this waffle or checkerboard in the top right, and then select Drive. Once you're in Drive, you will go to New, Google Docs. It will open a new doc for you. Here's my document. The first thing I want to do is name it, so I'm just going to call it Document Screencast. I'm then ready to start typing. Now I can share it. There are a couple of videos you'll be watching to learn how to share your documents if you haven't watched them already. But you would just go to the share icon in the top right. You're able to invite people individually by emails or names that would populate the email addresses. I can then decide whether I want to have them edit, comment, or view. Additionally, I can go to the Advanced tab, and now I have some more global changes I can make. So it could be anyone with the link can access this document. Can they view it? Can they comment? Or can they edit? I can make those decisions as well. If you're in a school domain, you'll have a couple other options here in addition to these three. You'll have about five that will talk about your school domain as well. Then I would save those changes. And now I click Done. So you'll know there's some other options down here about preventing editors from changing access and adding new people and those types of things. Then I click Done. And now I'm ready to work on my document. It really is much like a regular document, a regular word processing document. I have the same types of menus across the top. It automatically saves. I don't have to save ever. It's just automatically going to save the document into my Google Drive where it now is hosted or where it is now stored in the Google Drive. Under File, I have the same types of options I would in most other programs. If I'm going to print it, I need to use this print option, not just my browser option. Or there's also another icon here for print. Also, I can download this document as a Word document, as a PDF, as an RTF. Lots of different ways I can download it, or I can publish it to a web page. So these are pretty much um, common types of settings that I think you'll be able to, to work your way through on your own. Also, I have my editing. I have view where I can look at different things, especially an equation toolbar. If I'm a math teacher, I might want to look at the equation toolbar. I can insert an image, a link, a drawing, a table. That's much like in a uh, word processing document where you can insert a table with which to work. And other types of things. I can check my page count, put in page breaks. If I want to put an image in, I have lots of options when I click on this. I can upload an image, much like I would in a normal proce um, word processing document. I would just find my image, navigate to it on my screen or on my desktop uh, through my computer, find that image, and then open it. I can also take a snapshot. I can put the URL of an image. I can search my albums. I could go to Google Drive and look at my Google Drive, look at Shared With Me, look at Recent. I can also search directly here on the web. So I can search Google, Livestock, different things like that. But I could just search for an image right there. So if I upload an image, I'm just going to open one now quickly. And we'll just pick a, a Google logo and we'll put it on here. It's going to upload, it's going to pop into my document, and once I click on it, now I can resize it. I can grab the corners, I can make it the size I want, I can wrap the text, I can move it around, put it where I want to. I could also copy and paste an image in. In some of the Google programs or tools, copying and pasting doesn't work as well, especially in Google Sites, you definitely need to upload it. But in Google Docs, copying and pasting works pretty well, so you're fine. That's my um, insert menu. I also can insert a table of contents, different things like that. Formatting, much the same as any other type of word processing um, tool that you might use. Under tools, there's spelling, definition, word counts. I can translate my document into other languages. If I have parents who don't speak English, I might want to do that. I can also pull up the research tools here. And there are other articles later, other information about the research tools. But in the research tool, I can just search for anything I want to. So let's just search for um, Memphis, Tennessee, because that's where I am. And when I search, it's going to pull up like a mini window of a Google search here. So I'll get a map. I'll get some facts. I'll get some websites that I can look at. I can hover over to preview the site. Then I can take it off. I can insert a link to the site. I can also cite the site just by clicking here. And I can choose which citation results I want. So when I'm up in this little triangle, here's where I can decide if I want images that I put in here, free to modify, so they're copyright free. And here's where I can choose the type of citation I want to use. Additionally, if I close that little triangle there, 
I can narrow my search down to be just images, scholar quotes, etc. So I'm going to close my research window. Other things across the top, like we said, you can insert a table. So if I wanted to, I could insert a little table of some sort. I can also go and search add-ons. There are lots of add-ons I can get that will make the functionality of my Google Doc even more advanced in some ways. I can leave audio feedback on documents. Lots of different tools to look at. So you might want to go down and check out Get Add-ons and see what the options are for you. And my help files are right here. I can insert comments. So if I were editing a student's work right now, I might want to go over here and click my cursor or highlight something, but click my cursor and insert a comment. This is a great thing for a great tool for peer editing um, and for lots of things just to insert a comment across here. So as I'm going across and I want to insert a comment, let's just go down here and insert a comment. I might want to write something like, is this, whoops, sorry, image copyright free. And then the student, when I hit comment, will see this pop up on their computer, on their document. And then on their document, they can click on it and put, oops, I'll change it because it's not copyright free, and then reply. Once it's done, they have the ability to resolve that just by clicking on it here, and they can resolve the comment, or I can also go back and edit it, and I can delete the comment. So I can resolve it. It looks like it's disappeared, but it's actually still up here in comments. So I can reopen it if I need to. Great tool for peer editing. One word of warning is that if you were to share this with um, the public in any way with other teachers or with students, I mean with parents or administrators, those comments are still going to be there. So the only person who can delete a comment is a person who originally created it. So you might want to consider when you're done with it, just making a copy. File, make a copy, we'll make an exact copy, you can rename it. And now I have a copy of that document, but this time there are no comments. So it now looks much more professional and it's more finalized where I can now share it in different ways. There are some other things you can look at, the justifications, how to do a hyperlink, you can insert links in your document. Um, line spacing, there are bullet lists, number lists, and some editing tools here. So you can edit through this and share peer, um, have peer editing this way as well, make suggestions for the person whose documents you're editing. So that's Google Docs. It's an amazing collaborative tool. When you're working with other people, you'll see their icons up here if they're working on it synchronously at the same time, but they can work on it asynchronously as well. So enjoy. Look at the other resources on the site that reference Google Docs if you want to learn more. Thank you.